Angelina Jolie takes kids Shiloh, Knox and Vivian shopping at flea market. Angelina Jolie spent part of her Sunday browsing for bargains at the Rose Bowl flea market in Pasadena. The actress, 42, tried to hide her identity under a very large floppy black hat as she took three of her six children shopping. The star wore a long gray jersey coat over a black dress with lace at the bust. Angelina stepped out in flipper-style black flats and carried a large black leather tote over one shoulder. With their famous mom were Shiloh, 11, and twins Knox and Vivian, 9. Shiloh wore a gray hoodie with the hood up over her short blonde hair. She added tan cargo pants and black flip-flops and snaked on tortilla chips as she walked along. Knox was dressed in a black t-shirt and black sweatpants with black trainers. He carried a toy wooden crossbow that he'd found at one of the hundreds of stalks of merchandise. Vivian had on camouflage pants and black shoes along with a baggy white cotton shirt that she left untucked. She also carried a purchase, the blue and green blanket dotted with dinosaurs. Their mom also carried purchases in a white plastic bag. Meanwhile, Angelina co-wrote an op-ed published in a British newspaper on Sunday calling for more to be done to protect women in war zones. She co-authored the article for The Guardian with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg for The Guardian. In our different roles we have seen how conflicts in which women's bodies and rights are systematically abused last longer, cause deeper wounds and are much harder to resolve and overcome. Ending gender-based violence is therefore a vital issue of peace and security as well as of social justice, the two wrote. Despite being prohibited by international law, sexual violence continues to be employed as a tactic of war in numerous conflicts from Myanmar to Ukraine and Syria to Somalia. It includes mass rape, gang rape, sexual slavery, and rape as a form of torture, ethnic cleansing and terrorism. It accounts in large part for why it is often more dangerous to be a woman in a war than today than it is to be a soldier. They concluded, it is humanity's shame that violence against women, whether in peaceful societies or during times of war, has been universally regarded as a lesser crime. There is finally hope that we can change this. We owe it to ourselves, men and women alike, and to future generations.